Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Shooting Gear Reviews. I don't normally do this, and that is play footage from other channels that I contribute footage to. I contribute videos and photos and stuff to a couple other YouTube channels and also even directly to manufacturers sometimes. So, you know, maybe sometimes you might see my videos in other places besides just right here on Shooting Gear Reviews. And normally I don't cross mingle footage from one channel over to the other just because you know I don't want people to have to see the same video over and over again but this time I'm gonna break those rules just a little bit and in this case I was making a video using the Evanex Max Air 2 for the Airgun Pro Shop and the Airgun Pro Shop has a smaller YouTube channel the videos don't get a whole heck of a lot of views and this was some really good ratting footage so kind of this is a repeat maybe for some but literally over there it's only had a couple hundred views so I'm sure this isn't gonna be a repeat for very many of you guys so no further ado check out the ratting footage Evan X Max Air 2 let's go have some fun all right guys so this first rat we were actually headed down to get loaded up because my son likes to hunt with me so we were going down to where we had some pellets on a shooting table so he could load his mag up I had to tell my son to hold still and he didn't even know what was going on. He's like trying to get his mag loaded. Jade, hold still. Hold still. I had to tell him two times. And uh, I thought, ah, oh, he must have scared the rat off. I just kind of kept watching the rocks. And watching the rocks and watching the rocks. And I actually, I stopped the clip because I thought, oh, he must, he must be gone. And I just kind of, then I went ahead and I glassed the rock again just one more time. And I saw, then I saw him again. He came back out, sure enough. And so I started another clip. So that's this clip right here. And I just quick let him have it. Look at the size of this guy. Just about 13 inches long from the tip of his nose to the tip of his tail. What a big rat. All these shots you guys that I'm taking in this video, they're all offhand. You can see here guys, is a little bit of a struggle to get that shot steady enough, but I pulled the trigger at just the right time. We ran up to this guy right afterwards with the flashlight, checked him out, and it was a clean headshot right between the eyes. Just what you want to see, instant lights out. Here's just a funny little clip guys, just to show you just kind of how tempting it can be sometimes out here when you're hunting at night for the rats to go ahead and pop a couple of cottontails because in this clip you can see there's, uh, I believe, three cottontails. So this next guy I saw on a rock underneath a tree. Let him have it, but darn, as soon as I did, the recoil sort of jarred the battery inside the IR and it knocked the IR light off. Now I've been doing a lot of ratting out here recently guys. If you've been following this channel or maybe my other channel, Shooting Gear Reviews, you've probably seen some of the other ratting videos. If you guys like ratting videos, I'll be sure to include the links to all the other ratting videos in a uh, playlist below. This shot was kind of amazing guys because I've, I spotted the rat just sitting real pretty and nice and still on the rock there. And as I'm sort of lining up for the shot, I see a baby rat kind of come out and start messing with this larger rat that's just sitting on the rock. And I, I kind of jumped the shot a little bit because I thought, ooh, I might get a twofer here. So I thought maybe it'll, I'll be able to get it through the one and into the other. Uh, that didn't happen. The, the youth rat was able to make it off just fine. Uh, but I did, of course, put down the larger rat, no problem. This clip was a little dark because my IR battery was starting to go but it was also a really fun clip to show off just the, how awesome it is to have the semi-auto action. I missed on the first shot and the rat sort of jumped. Watch this. Because of the super, super fast follow-up shot ability, I'm able to take that rat out with the next shot and you guys can see it just flipped him. What an awesome shot, right? And that would not have been possible if I wasn't shooting a semi-auto air rifle. So you guys, I can definitely see where in certain hunting situations, semi-auto air rifles have their place and really give you a big advantage. All right guys, thank you so much for tuning in. 
that was a ton of fun. I hope you enjoyed the footage. I know I sure enjoyed myself out there and I got rid of a bunch of rats and that's really the whole point of this. But that is it for today, guys. Stay tuned, get subscribed, check out my other channel, Shooting Gear Reviews, if you like ratting footage, all that good stuff. But sadly, that is it for today. Guys, I'm Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner. Outdoors, having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope that you guys are too, and I'll see you in the next video.